This wasn't a holiday, but for some workers, it was a three-day weekend anyway because of this afternoon's nationally televised Rainbow Warrior football game. Dozens of fans knocked off early from work to watch the game. Hookie Lyles saw a steady stream of fans pour in as the game wore on. A large number of customers were people who ended their work day a few hours early. Sort of, uh, it was a great reason. I told my boss I had a meeting, so um, literally it was a meeting with the bows. <laughs> Hope you're not watching this, boss. <laughs> And the fans had a roller coaster ride with the Bows taking a lead, then falling behind 14 points in the fourth quarter before rallying to send it to overtime where they won. John Veneri will have highlights and reaction a little later in sports. 16th ranked Warriors in the rain against San Jose State, but Hawaii posts the first score of the game. Colt Brennan on the six yard option pitch to Kealoha Pilares, 7 0 Warriors. Later in the second quarter, Colt doing what he does best, hitting Ryan Grice Mullins deep, part of the end zone, 14 0. But just before the half, lightning struck and not in a good way for the Warriors special teams. Dwight Lowry takes it down the sideline, 84 yards to the dirt that pays. Hawaii still had the 14 7 lead at the half. So, Hawaii had the lead, but San Jose State definitely had the momentum. 16th ranked Warriors looking to keep its hopes of a BCS bid alive with the Fiesta Bowl committee on hand for the game. And speaking of hand, Colt Brennan finally getting the chance to show the nation what he could do. The first of four games shown on national television. We start right here, but the second half started the way the first half ended. Brennan already with an interception, throws it out to Jason Rivers, but Lowry is there for the pick six, just like that. This one is all tied up at 14, but the Spartans didn't let up. Adam Tafalis hooking up with Kevin Jurovic for a 16-yarder, and then this 68-yarder. And with two and a half minutes left, Spartans taking the two-touchdown lead, 28-14. Just before the third came to an end, Warriors close the gap. Brennan finds C.J. Hawthorne, and he makes a great grab, 34-yard touchdown. And with that, Brennan is in the record books again. More on that in just a minute. 28-21 Spartans still leading, though. Home team scored again on a run to extend the lead, but Hawaii made a late comeback. Brennan finds Devon Bess, and he makes a great diving catch for the 11-yard score. And then even later, Hawaii's defense comes through. Blaze Swords with a hard hit. Ball comes loose. Adam Leonard recovers, giving the Warriors a chance to tie it up. So with 30 seconds left, Brennan gets the call. Two-yard run, and this game is headed to overtime, tied at 35. Warriors get the ball first, and it was like playing catch in the yard. Brennan drops back, hits Jason Rivers from nine yards out. Hawaii takes the 42-35 lead. So it was up to the defense to hold the Spartans out of the end zone. And for the second overtime this season, Myron Newberry comes up big, makes the stop. He just wanted it more, and so did the Warriors. They go on to win this one in overtime, 42-35. Basically believe. I mean, we got an unbelievable football team and you know we, we got we got you know stuck in a tough situation today. We weren't playing our best football and they came out ready to play, but we believed and we know it's four quarters and we just kept saying, look how much time's on the clock. We knew we could come back. Well, you know, when we were down 35-21, I called the offense up and I said, guys, I said, you know, th there's no way that this team is better than us. And I said, you know, for us to come back and win it, I said, we've scored 21 points in two and a half minutes. I said, this is a lot of game left. I said it will do more for our team and Colt this is going to tell America what you're about and that's exactly what happened to win on the road under these conditions I mean if it had not been these conditions I think we probably would have scored another 60 points or so but uh, that's the way the, the game is and you got to overcome everything all the adversity and our kids have done it Brennan's 75 attempts is a new whack record, 545 yards passing and four touchdowns, but those four interceptions. He also beat Ty Detmer's record of 122 touchdowns responsible for in three seasons. Colt now has 125 and counting. Warriors on a seven-game road win streak dating back to last season and now take a two-week break while enjoying the whack lead at 4-0. Next up, New Mexico State on October 27th out at Aloha Stadium. Streak stays alive. The Warriors remain undefeated defeated tonight, but only after coming desperately close to a painful loss on the road. The Warriors started the roller coaster ride with a rain soaked hot in chilly San Jose, but by the fourth quarter, they were on fire with a red hot comeback. Sports director Liz Chun joins us now with 
some incredible highlights. What a game, Liz. I know. Hawaii, of course, for the first time this season, the country got to see what the Warriors are all about on national TV. And while it took a while for the Warriors to deliver, tonight's dramatic win will keep UH perfect on the season at 7-0. We'll start in the fourth quarter. Hawaii down 28-21 when the Spartans run wild. James Callier wide open on the right side. He gets in from eight yards out. San Jose stayed up 35-21. But Hawaii would rally back. And Colt Brennan, despite four interceptions, still able to get in the ends on the two-yard TD run following a 45-yard drive. Ties it up at 35. Warriors would score first in overtime, forcing the Spartans to do the same. Adam Trafales, though, takes his chances. And Myron Newberry is all over that with the pick that ends it all. Hawaii escapes with a 42-35 victory in overtime. When we were down 35-21, I called the offense up and I said, guys, I said, you know, th there's no way that this team is better than us. And I said, you know, for us to come back and win it, I said, we've scored 21 points in two and a half minutes. I said, this is a lot of game left. I said, it will do more for our team. And Colt, this is going to tell America what you're about. And that's exactly what happened. So speaking about that, I mean, yeah. what does it tell the uh, the pollsters and the guys out there thinking about BCS and all this other yeah, stuff? Yeah, there's a there's a bigger picture to this. Absolutely, there were Fiesta Bowl representatives there. We talked about it earlier yeah. this week, and they, I'm sure, got an eyeful of what Hawaii is capable of doing. Plus, Hawaii is undefeated. That's the ticket. Mm -hmm. Despite it being a little ugly, they're undefeated. People not so big on Colt and the Heisman candidate right now. So I don't know how that's going to play yeah. out for him. He, he's racking up a sizable number of touch uh, interceptions, and then he's yeah. got the ankle thing yeah. so so those are yeah those are definitely flaws that kind of work against him if he can maybe pull out some amazing games at the end of the stretch where this the mm -hmm. schedule gets even tougher that could help so we have more highlights coming up in sports plus we'll hear about Colt who set a whack and school record that's in sports I'm just so glad they pulled it <laughs> off thank you that's close Ooh, well Colt Brennan had a whole game to prove himself healthy and able for Hawaii tonight but it may be the final minutes versus San Jose State and what he did in overtime that will define how how good he really is. Soggy conditions were the storyline early on for this game, but as slippery as it was, Colt Brennan's receiving core found its footing in the end zone. In the second quarter, Brennan airs a 16-yard strike to Ryan Grice Mullen. Grice Mullen led with 175 yards receiving. UH ahead at the half, 14-7, but seconds into the third quarter, the Spartans tied things up. Dwight Lowry going to return one of Brennan's four picks on the night. That was part of a run in which the Spartans scored 28 unanswered. Warriors still had faith in the fourth. Brennan drives UH down the field for 97 yards, then caps it off with an 11-yard TD pass to Devon Best. Hawaii now within seven, so UH's defense is going to apply the pressure. San Jose State loses its first fumble of the season. Adam Leonard, the one to land on it. 35 seconds now left on the clock, and it is time for Brennan to show what he's made of. He'd carry the ball in from two yards out. Next thing you know, it is going to overtime second and seven and Brennan just goes for it he finds Jason Rivers in the corner and just like that Hawaii takes the lead back Rivers had 12 catches for 138 yards. Brennan finished with 545 yards passing and four TDs, but it's not over yet. San Jose State has one more shot at Hawaii. Adam Tafralis needs something to happen in the end zone. I'm sure that's not even what he was aiming for. Myron Newberry with the interception to seal the deal. Final score, 42-35. UH now improves to 6-0 for the season. Brennan set a new UH record with 44 completions. His 75 attempts are also a whack and school record. We did have crew there for the June Jones show so we'll hear more from the Warriors tomorrow here's Colt now we got an unbelievable football team and you know we, we got we got you know stuck in a tough situation today we weren't playing our best football and they came out ready to play but we believed and we know it's four quarters and we just kept saying look how much time's on the clock we knew we could come back <laughs> 